A quick announcement for if you want to take your trading to the next level. I recently started a profitable trading signal group in which I show you and I send signals of all of my trades. If you want to join this group or if you're interested in that, go check out the first link down in the description or in the pinned comment. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video on Fetch AI. Wanted to make an update on that. I'm not sure when my last update was, but uh, Fetch AI has been uh, under the radar for a little bit. It's been, uh, it, it hasn't been moving that much. I mean, since Tuesday, when a lot of cryptos were or have been bullish, uh, Fetch AI have, has just been in this level between 48 cents. We briefly tried to get some sort of a breakout, uh, but it didn't hold. And we've mostly spent our time between 42 and 46 cents. Uh, so I wanted to do an update on that because I know that a lot of you from the Linux crypto community are interested in Fetch AI. And uh, uh, frankly, it's also on my watch list. I also uh, want to uh, want to monitor it, keep up to date. So here we are. Um, now, Fetch AI is, uh, is obviously very bullish because of the whole AI narrative. I expect the AI narrative to continue for multiple reasons. If you want to know those reasons, let me know down in the comments. But I don't feel like going into depth about that in this video. Um, so I, my assumption is that Fet, Fetch is, uh, is fundamentally still bullish. The trend and the technicals confirm that as well for now. Uh, so you must know that. But apart from that, I mean, it's, it's the weekend. Volume has dropped down quite severely. Um, it's not a problem. It's still very high compared to the market cap, but it's, it's, it's just something you should know. Usually you have uh, less volatility with less volume. Um, but altogether, to, to, get into the, to get into the technicals already, as I said, we've really been between 46 and 42 cents in that level. And I'd say the most important level for us is really this level right here between 40 and 42 cents. That's really the, the only level preventing us from becoming bearish, um, which is, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a thing to say. I mean, we're not, uh, or, or did, I would have to say, excuse me, I cannot really talk. Uh, I would have to say this is the, the one thing keeping us bullish. We're not necessarily bearish all of a sudden once we break that, but now I would still consider us bullish. If it breaks, then we're dropping down to this level here at uh, 36, 34, and I do think we can hold that, but then we are very much in a consolidation, all right? Um, but luckily, I do expect, as I said, I think uh, Fetch is fundamentally still bullish, and I think the uh, bullish momentum in the market certainly helps as well. So we might see a spike down to 40 cents, but I do expect that at some point of time, we'll be able to break above 46 cents as well. I think somewhere at the beginning of next week. And then where we found resistance at the 0 0.55 last time around of this last bearish move, I think now we can actually continue, not, not, not in a big spike. I mean, we might have to consolidate between uh, 49 and 46 first. Uh, but after a while, I think we'll be able to reach my price target at 52 cents. And from there, I'll make another update. I'll keep monitoring it, of course, but um, I'd, I'd, I'd rather, I will cover fetch. So I'd rather do some, some more smaller updates than that I'll give you my full thoughts on fetch for the upcoming weeks. Uh, because these smaller updates, uh, in my opinion, are just more reliable and are more accurate. Uh, so yeah, this is my take for now. As I said, I mean, or not as I said, but it, it is kind of dependent on the bullish momentum in the markets. Um, if Bitcoin right now falls down to like 23,000, then Fetch is going to drop down to 34, 36 and get into somewhat of a more consolidating uh, structure. But that's not what I expect. Bitcoin looks very strong and of course it could crash, it could fall. Uh, but for now, that doesn't seem to me as the most likely scenario. So this is my take on Fetch AI. If you have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.